page rank. Google assigns each page a numerical value from 0 to 10 based on numerous factors, most of which are not publicised. The higher your web page's PR, the more authority you have with Google. Other factors being equal, pages with a higher PR appear higher in the search engines. All pages on a site have their own page rank. What is known is that the number of links and quality of links to a page are used to determine PR. A typical PR update is roughly every three months. Although as of late Google appears to be moving towards a, a more fluid page rank update process like its rankings. It's believed that PR is based on a logarithmic scale meaning it is much easier for your page to go from a PR3 to PR4 than it is to go from PR4 to PR5. The image on the right shows page rank and the level of effort to reach each new level. As you can see from the diagram, the level of effort involved to increase your page rank grows with each new level. In the following example points are imaginary as Google's algorithm is unknown. Now just to give you an idea of the principles involved in page rank distribution. PageRank is supposed to be distributed equally among the links on a page according to Google. This is not the case. If we take a PR4 domain and we analyse the links to the page and the outbound links from those pages this is what we end up with. 24 links but only 5 of them have any PR so we discount the ones that have no PR. We're left with 5. So for argument's sake we will use the external links as it is the lower figure for demonstration purposes. So if we do the maths and take the PR and divide by the number of external links So as you can see the numbers just do not add up. If we were to use the total links on the pages then we would be left with 0 0.356 which is nowhere near 4. So what Google is saying about page rank distribution cannot be true if you are doing the maths yourself. So in conclusion, do not become obsessed by PageRank, it is only an indication of the authority that Google places on your website.